Hello, this is James Beer again. I'm going to give you another look at JRocket Mission Control 4.0 and the experimental plugin that we're now shipping. Um, it's unsupported currently, but it gives you a preview as to where we're going with this new integration with JRocket and with WebLogic Server. So if you remember the last recording, we had this events tab, which, which comes standard with um, the mission control and, and allows you to look at all the events inside a re recording. Well, if you do this help install plugins with JRocket mission control 4.0.1 and later, you'll be able to uh, get this new view for um, a recording that splits things out for just J, um, I'm sorry, as it relates to WebLogic. And so if you look at these tabs down here, now I get a bunch of information. Uh, it's a way to sort through my WebLogic information in a much easier way. So I get all the um, execution context IDs um, associated. So I had four different separate requests. So if, as I click on each one, I get all the events that are related to that particular request. Um, I can sort them by users and since I'm using the high volume on the diagnostic framework setting in the console um, I get uh, user information and so I could you know if I click on a user it shows me all the events uh, associated with those users and if I look let's say a database uh, tab it gives me all the SQL statements um, and I can do things like uh, find the matching SQL um, for all the events that, that match that if I look at the EJB tab, um, I get these different components up here where I can break it down by application. Uh, if I click on the application, it tells me which uh, component. Uh, if I go inside the components, and it'll tell me which operations by EJB. And looking at each EJB, I get the methods, and all the way down here, uh, once you click on a method, it shows you the different traces and uh, which methods took the longest, etc. So uh, same thing works for uh, JTA uh, transactions. I have three transactions started in this recording and uh, for servlets as well. So the different URLs associated with that. So I could find all the matching URLs if I wanted to um, and bring up all the events as that, that related to that. So it's a very uh, handy way to sort through this information. Um, currently JMS um, is not producing events. Um, as I said earlier, this is an experimental plugin, but uh, you can see that uh, this integration with the flight recorder is very impressive and offers a lot more capability than previous versions of JRocket that only showcased things like Java events. Right? If I if I just look at um, events uh, for 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 Java. Um, right here just a bunch of uh, weights and thread statistics sleeps things like that um, it wasn't as useful to roll that information up and now I can correlate all of these together WebLogic server events with my JVM events and see them all in this one recording in one tool so hopefully this has given you a preview as to where we're going and the capabilities that already exist today and if you have any questions drop me a comment thanks a lot